Okay guys, so we're just going to look to try and rotate a shape. So we're going to draw a shape on here. We'll start with uh, a straightforward rectangle. Okay, so we're going to draw that at this point here. And then we're going to draw another shape and we're going to rotate it using tracing paper. So there's the initial shape. Okay, and we'll call this A, B. C and D. Once you've got that drawn, okay, we're going to rotate that and we're going to rotate it down into this sector here. Okay, so we know it's one, two, three, four, it was five centimeters long, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and it's three centimeters high. So three, three. So we've got a five by three. Okay, and this is. A dash, B dash, C dash, and D dash. Okay, so that shape has now been rotated from my object okay, to my image. This is my image, my rotated shape. Okay, so first thing to notice is if I think there's my A that relates to this one, there's my B. And that relates to this one here. Okay, if I'm going to try and rotate that round using the tracing paper, okay, I'm going to draw on the shape in question. Okay, and I'm just going to pick a point anywhere on the grid and I'm going to start turning it round. So let's start with the origin. We know that's not going to be right, but if I now put my pen on there. Okay, and once I've got my pen on there, I'm going to rotate it. Let's get the pens out of the way. Okay, I'm going to rotate that round. If I rotate it 90 degrees, it's in the it's in the right orientation. It looks right, but it isn't actually in the right location. So I know that I'm going that way. Okay. Now, if you're thinking about this, there's my A. There's my B. One thing you can check is rotate it round. Alright, so I've got A, B, A, B. So I know that we've gone, where have we gone with that one? We've gone that direction, so we're going to go anti-clockwise. We know we've gone quarter turn, okay, or 90 degrees. So we've got two parts of our rotation already sorted. But we know that it's too high to be there, so let's drop down a little bit. Okay, let's drop down to somewhere here okay rotate that round okay I'm still too high but now I've moved it across too far to the left so come back in here pick another point so that point now is 5 negative 6 I'll put my pen on there I'm going to rotate it again getting closer but still no still not close enough so let's move across a little bit more rotate down okay and it is just trial and error to pick the point where you think it's gonna rotate correctly okay nearly we're getting closer okay That one there, almost. So we know that that one there is quite close. One square too low. Okay. That one there is one square too far to the left. That one there is one square too high. Okay. that one there is one square too far to the right so we've gone all around it but we haven't quite got it yet so let's go in the middle of that square and you can see that's going to rotate around and cover my shape exactly get back to my object okay so I know it's in the middle of that square just there that's my center of rotation and if I'm thinking of what the coordinate is for that we can see it goes four and a half two and a half if I do that 
a line to show that four and a half along the corridor two and a half up the stairs and remember I've gone down the stairs to this one so I'm in the negative negative 2.5 that's my center of rotation so in this case it is a 90 degree anti-clockwise I'm going opposite way to the clock goes anti-clockwise rotation about the point 4.5 negative 2.5 and that's the rotation okay so using the tracing paper is really good to as a trial and error way of doing it okay now if we look to see we know where the center of rotation is on this particular one so to try and do it with ruler only if you don't have a set of compasses or a set of uh, or a protractor ruler only draw a line between the first two points a and a dash so make sure the two a's match up and then pick another point so we used b so let's put a line between b and b dash okay we've got to find the halfway point so we're going to do the perpendicular perpendicular bisector so I'm going to find halfway I'm going to cut it in half I'm going to bisect it by cutting it in half and perpendicular means at 90 degrees if you haven't got a route if you haven't got a, a set of compasses or you haven't got a protractor to do a 90 degree hopefully you can see on the ruler you've got the point there of 15 and 0 those two are in line and if I put those two on my line okay then any line I draw off that will be at 90 degrees okay so it's just a bit of a trick you can do in an exam so find the halfway point so in this one we've got five and a half centimeters so two and a half is five and half a centimeter is going to be there so that's my halfway point put my two lines on there matched up to the side of the ruler and I can draw my line going across okay so that's my bisector of that line at 90 degrees I'm going to do the same on the next line between B and B again I've got five and a half centimeters so I'm going to go two and a half is five halfway between two and a half and three so two and three quarter centimeters Got my two lines on the line that I've drawn and I'm able to do the bisector on the line B to B dash and you can see where those two lines cross will give me my center of rotation okay now any shape that we draw another one. it doesn't matter again if I've got any location or not so let's draw a shape um, triangle shape here Okay, and I'm not going to do it at 90 degree I'm going to do it a random amount so let's say uh, so let's do it There you go, there's my, uh, we'll call that A, and we'll call the top there A dash, we'll call that B, and we'll call the bottom here B dash, and we'll call that C, and this is C dash. Again, this is my object, this is my original, this is my image, or my copy, and it's been rotated. Okay. If I join up the two 
lines. Right to that. I can see that's six centimeters. Okay, between there and there. I'm going to go halfway. That's my bisect. And again, using the same system, I'm going to line up two little marks on the ruler. Okay, to try and give a 90 degree bisector. Okay. Normally in the exam I would say always use a set of compasses. The only reason I'm saying to do it like this is because if you, you're at home and you haven't got them, it is a way that you can do it still with a ruler. Okay. If I'm going to look to B, okay, I've got from B to B dash, which is 6.5667. So half of that is going to be 3.35, okay, that's my halfway point, again I'm going to draw my line, my perpendicular bisector, okay, okay. And hopefully you can see if I'm drawing my bisector. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna have to go onto another piece of paper because my rotation, center of rotation is where they intersect, where they cross. Okay, and you can see I've done it too near the top of the page. So if I try and carry these lines on. Okay. okay, and you can see my center of rotation is at the top there. Okay. So again, looking at those two shapes, if I was to rotate this round, there's my center of rotation. Okay, if I'm going from here, to here I'm going clockwise and how could I tell the amount of angle it would be the angle of this particular line here so again I could measure that angle if I'd got a protractor I put my protractor on here and measure round and from the looks of that it's around about 20 degrees clockwise okay and In this case, our center of rotation is the point at the top. Okay, so hopefully, even without a protractor or a set of compasses, hopefully, you can see that you can still measure using just a ruler. Okay, hopefully, that's been helpful. Uh, if you've got any problems, drop me an email and I will help out.